Hello, good morning. It is a little bit early. Um, happy Sunday, but I just wanted to come on here and share a quick word with you all. So the word for today is do not be ashamed of Jesus Christ and do not be ashamed of God. And I want to talk from a Matthew chapter 26. And this is when Peter denies Jesus. And it says, Now Peter sat outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him, saying, You also were with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied it before them all, saying, I don't know what you're saying. And when he had gone out the gateway, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. But never again he denied with an oath, I don't know the man. And a little later, those who stood by came up to, and said to Peter, Surely you also are one of them, for your speech betrays you. Then he began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. And we all know that um, Jesus came to Peter beforehand and said, Before the rooster crows three times, you will have betrayed me. Or no, before the rooster crows, you will have betrayed me three times. And it's funny because, you know, before Jesus had said this to Peter, Peter said to Jesus, Lord, I'll never deny you. Like, far be it from me. Like, I will stand by you even all the way up to your death. And Jesus, you know, loved him enough to tell him that, you know, before the rooster crows, you will have denied me three times. And so it said, immediately a rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus who said to him, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So he went out and wept bitterly. And I want to say to you today, if you find yourself feeling ashamed of the gospel, feeling ashamed of what you believe, don't be ashamed. Romans 1 16 is such a good verse and I want to share it. It's amazing. I'm trying to find it quickly. Romans 1 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. The power of God to salvation. This is life. The scriptures, well, the scriptures don't lie about what it says about Jesus and the gospel. And we shouldn't be ashamed of having such a power the power of the gospel and the amazing news of the gospel is not that we first loved jesus but that he first loved us why would we be ashamed of that especially when it's the same gospel that takes us from death to life the same power that takes us from bitterly denying jesus and his power and being one who lives for him and is loved by him and is taken up and called holy by him. It's like when we're saved, Jesus picks us up and we're dirty, right? We're covered in dirt. But after we give ourselves to Jesus, he picks us up and he wipes the dirt off and he says, you are clean, my child. And if you want to take the metaphor even further, it's like, you know, as we're human and living in this world, we'll, steer, we'll still technically dirty, you know what I mean? But he sees us as clean. He sees us as righteous. He even saw what Peter did and forgave him and still chose him and said, okay, you're still going to go preach my word, you know, because he understood Peter had a moment of weakness. But either way, I don't want you, beloved, to be ashamed of your testimony, ashamed of your belief. And I know it can be difficult to carry, you know, a gospel of a person that is so famous, but also so disliked and scorned and hated by so many people today. People, you know, are making fun of Christians and making fun of the gospel. And yes, there's been so many, you know, people who claim to be Christians who didn't love others, who hated others, that a lot of people start to think, you know, this is a joke. Like, you guys aren't even living what you're saying, but I encourage you and I challenge you, brother. I challenge you, sister. Like, don't be discouraged and don't be ashamed because 
there's somebody on the other side of you speaking that gospel, of you speaking the word of Jesus Christ, and do not be ashamed of it. And there's a verse in the Bible that honestly, I used to look at it and it used to convict me so like, oh man, but um, it basically says like, if you were ashamed of the son of man, then like he will be ashamed of you like before his father. And, you know, I don't want to get to heaven and all I have to offer is like, well, Jesus, I was ashamed of you in my life, you know, and it's like, we're called to share him and share his love with others. And there's power in it. It is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. So don't be ashamed. Don't hold it in. In the Bible, it says if people ask you a reason for your hope, share with them Jesus and share with them your hope. And it's just as much a word for me as it is that I'm sharing it. So that's all I wanted to share this morning. I just pray that this word has blessed you in Jesus' name.